Now, its last two visits found tantalising clues. Now, NASA is hoping its latest mission to Mars might be third time lucky. Today, the latest in its line of explorers, an automated rover appropriately named Curiosity, blasted off into space aboard a rocket. If it arrives intact, scientists hope it will finally answer the question of whether the red planet could harbour life, not to mention the $2.5 billion question of whether the mission was worth it. Our science correspondent, Tom Clark, reports. Main engine start, zero, and liftoff of the Atlas V with Curiosity. Seeking clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. With that send-off ringing in its antennae, the largest, most sophisticated robot ever sent to another planet began its journey to Mars. We have spacecraft separation. Minutes later, Curiosity span away from its rocket on its eight and a half months, 350 million mile journey. The six-wheeled, jeep-sized rover carries more scientific instruments than have ever been sent to the red planet before. To make it all go, this rover is nuclear-powered, meaning it can work through Martian day and night and go further than its solar-powered predecessors. Those probes, Spirit and Opportunity, have been a spectacular success for NASA, bouncing down on Mars in 2004 and well exceeding their design life. They sent back stunning images and evidence that water, and therefore life, may once have covered the planet. But to land Curiosity, NASA must break new ground without breaking their $2.5 billion rover. First slowed by a parachute, a jetpack called a sky crane will lower the rover down. It's never been tried before. They call it six minutes of terror while it actually lands. Um, it's got to go down through the atmosphere um, and then sort of slow itself down and wet on retro rockets, um, dangle underneath this thing, um, and then cut the, cut the wires, leave the rover on, it, on the surface, and then fly away into, into the sunset like Thunderbird 2. It's been rehearsed on Earth countless times. The scientists relying on this rover want every instrument to work perfectly. There's a laser beam for selecting the most interesting Martian rocks, a drill to extract samples, and detectors to analyse them for chemical signs of past life. The rover will scour layers of sediment on the edge of a carefully chosen crater. Like leafing through the geological history of Mars, it should confirm whether the planet was ever truly habitable. I think the best way of saying why we're so excited about this mission is that it sets us up for the future of, of finally answering that, that you know, really age-old question of does life exist on other planets. Like their predecessors, scientists on this mission are coy about claiming they might discover life on Mars. Proving it once existed will be triumph enough. But another rover, due to follow in Curiosity's tracks in 2019, will be the first to dig below the Martian soil, where life, if it still exists, may linger.